and yet the night has fallen. The sounds of night creatures echo through the world around you. Fog blankets your house in a cloud of eerie mist. You sit alone in your dark home, watching your favorite horror program. You sit on the edge of your seat, anxiously grasping your remote and the popcorn bowl. You shudder at the howls and the screams as the monster on screen slowly lumbers toward you. And then suddenly, without warning, you turn off your TV and decide you'll sleep with the lights on tonight? Wow, what a baby. But that's okay, because Dave Captavell is here to help with even the most pathetic scaredy cats to experience the best in horror entertainment. From spooky to corny to demonic to gory, if it makes your screen scream, then this sociopath wants to discuss it. Welcome, boys and girls, to Recapitate! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Recapitate. My name is Dave Cattaville, and welcome back to the only show where it's good to hear evil. Today, I have with me a good friend and the owner of the world's most underrated YouTube channel, Mr. Raw Mundo himself, Ray. How you doing, my friend? I'm a raw boy. Give me a lick. How's it going, Dave? I'll give you a couple licks. You know, mm, get to the center of that raw tootsie. <laughs> Pop, I don't, oh god. <laughs> we went too far. Too far, too quick. Yeah. You shot your load off. Mm. I gotta go. Anyways. Well, Ray, hey, now up, that you've established how uh, child friendly we are on this show, why don't we yeah. talk about the movie you've chosen? <laughs> the most horrific movie that's ever gonna be on this podcast. Everyone right. go home. Um, we're gonna be talking about the 1993 classic cult classic hocus pocus is it a cult classic it's a cult classic it's a it's a cult it's a disney channel film it's a cult classic yeah yeah i cult classic then my mom is in that cult my mom this is one of my mom's (laughs) favorite movies for some reason i don't know why she watches like downton abbey and yet anytime hocus pocus she's on i guess she just likes bet midler Mm -hmm. yeah i mean who doesn't honestly I don't know enough about her to make a judgment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I pulled that. What out else of my is Bet? What else is Bet Medler even in that people would know? Uh, I've actually got the IMDb here, but she's got uh, Fantasia. That is oh, what? Whatever. No one's heard of that. Whatever. Fuck. This isn't the Betty Bet Midler podcast. We're talking about Hocus Pocus. All right. You know what? Let's talk about Hocus Pocus. Ooh. So Hocus Pocus is a. As, as actually, I didn't know this before you told me this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a Disney Channel original movie. No, it is a. It's just produced by Disney, right? I think yeah. yeah. And yeah. but it's guaranteed like any because Disney they always do the fucking you know TV shows they always do the uh, uh, Halloween marathons on their channels or whatever. Right. And this is like on there like three times a day. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Hocus Pocus is of course the story about three witch sisters who. Uh, you know, are uh, like basically the, uh, the evil witches of Salem mm-hmm. who are uh, basically killed. And then 300 something years later, uh, this this really cool, this, radical this kid fucking virgin lights the candle. Yeah. Lights the and candle. brings them back. Yeah. Can we can we kick this off by talking about how much of a loser this kid is? OK. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk about this kid from fuck this mis interpretation, re- misrepresentation, sorry, of California guys. All right. Oh, that's right. This, this is perfect. Re- you're from California. So yeah. this is this is you, actually. No, this is not me. No, no. Fuck when, this whenever kid. I I've, I've hung out with you enough times that I know this is what you look like. Oh yeah, I I came in with my shades, my 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 Hollywood You're aesthetic. Fucking Marty McFly wannabe. Yeah, what the fuck? What's his name? Uh, Max. 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 <sighs> fucking. He's living life to the max, ass, Ray. Why oh, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. Yeah. Oh, the Tootsie Pop joke wasn't enough. No, <laughs> that's where you cross the line. Yeah. Fucking. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, Max is this this fucking. Uh, Cali kid who moves to Salem and uh, 
he meets uh, a bunch of wacky characters. He's in the beginning of the movie. He's uh, in class, and uh, he. I found this really weird. He he disses this girl in class, and then he hits on her after. Like yeah, the the main well one of the main chicks in the movie. Her name is Allison, and mm-hmm. her you know her family owns the uh, the museum of the town, and. Uh, at the beginning, like, because it, it's in Salem, and of course everybody knows about the Salem witch trials, which is what right. this movie is based on. They're in in this uh, this world. They're very based around Halloween, like it. It's a real they holiday for them, yeah, which makes sense. But mm-hmm. the kid is from you know, whoa, California, and he comes. I don't in, believe he's in like, all that. Hocus Halloween's pocus. fucking gay. I don't believe this shit. And then the yeah. girl fucking destroys him, yeah, in the middle of class because. Uh, and then, like, he makes fun of she makes fun of him, saying like how important the witch culture is. And then immediately, the kid He's turns like, around <laughs> and tries to ask her out. <laughs> he just hands her a piece of paper with his number on it. Cl- nice, good job, and then, Max. And then he and then he goes Classic. away. And then she she gives him her number, which just happens to be the same number he gave yeah. her. Yeah. He's like, hey, sorry about shitting on you back there in class, but uh, yeah, we should go on a date. And she's like, yeah, totally. Here's my, here's, here's this piece of paper. He opens it up. Oh, that's my, just my number. I got dissed. I, I, I had to say, like, I, I'm totally I for her fool. in that case. Like, I, I, oh, I, yeah. I like how clever she was with that because, I mean, listen, I'm no woman as far as I know, but I, uh, <laughs> if, if some young, hip Californian kid tried to diss my culture and then was like, hey, babe, here's my number, I wouldn't take that shit. Yeah. No, you hand that shit back. Right. She did the right thing. Allison, you're an example. You're a shining example. And then uh, this, this, you know, just unlikable... And that's the thing. It's like, I know that... Okay, obviously, well, this is a kid's movie. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's only... Actually, we will get into, for a kid's movie, this is a little darker. This, this film, at yeah. times. Especially, at times. Especially the uh, when we get into, like, the lore of, like, how the witches, you know, when they died and stuff. That, that, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, right after this kid gets, like, you know, rejected by this girl, he gets attacked by these two guys who are basically... The best characters they're, in the they're movie. They're low-budget Butch and Skull from uh, <laughs> Power Rangers, essentially. Yeah. But they're... God, they made me laugh. Like, this is, it was so stupid, but they made me laugh. Like, yeah. This, the, I forgot what his name is, but the tall guy. Uh, but, uh, they're Jay and Ernie. Ernie's Jay and Ernie. Ice. Yeah, he he, because he laughs at literally everything, even when he's being insulted. I hate his laugh, but I love it at the same time. Yeah, it's so fucking bad, but god damn it! It, it yeah, it, it's as we esta- this is the most childish thing you may see on this show. Mm-hmm. Let, let me es- establish that. maybe. Maybe it depends on uh, if I do the little Einstein's Halloween special, which is which a- I'm signing up for. We need. Uh, I'm first Dude, on the list. there is a really terrifying decapitation scene in that mo- in that movie. Really? Yeah, it's like it was really controversial. They cut it for PBS. I, that's how I know you're fucking lying because it was on <laughs> PBS. It was on Disney Channel. <laughs> oh, that, Disney that's Junior. how. That's how you know I was lying. <laughs> yeah, you fucking you fucked that one up. Anyways, I'm back sorry, to this. I'm not familiar with my little Einstein's lore. Read up. You read up on it. You. Go get the strategy guide. Read up on the extensive lore. The scariest thing about this podcast is that you know that much about Little Einsteins. I don't, actually. I'm just making fun of you, but... (laughs) uh, Anyways. Yeah, back into Hocus Pocus. That's the problem with this movie, though. It's like... How do we... Yeah, what do we fucking talk about? Okay. Okay, that's the problem with this movie, is that it's like... It's very entertaining. I'll say that. It is a great movie to watch at Halloween time. There's nothing to fucking take away from it, though. Right. It's like... There's not too much to say about it. It's like... It's a very... I don't want to call it generic, because it's not. It has some memorable scenes. It's got charm. It does have a lot of charm. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one of those movies that, like, I watched all the time when I was a kid around uh-huh. Halloween time. And, like, you know, when you're younger, um, there would be things I could see in it if I was, like, you know, eight or nine around that age that would sort of creep yeah. me out a little bit. Uh, but now it's just, like, you know, it's something you'd watch with, you know, your little cousins or something. The family. Just to sort of get into that uh, mood. Sorry, or, excuse me. It's on the same... It's all right. It's on the same vein as, like, Halloween Town, which is another, you know, uh, 
Disney film. Okay, yeah. Let me just say that we we were going to originally talk about Halloween Town, <laughs> but I sat through the first two fucking movies and I took I had no notes. Like there were some like cool things, maybe some things we could talk about, but nothing for a fucking hour. The only thing nothing. I could see like was cool about that is that apparently they've built like a live version of Halloween Town now that you can actually visit. That's neat, but I'll never go to that because Halloween Town was shit. So <laughs> You didn't like uh, Calamar's Revenge? Or Cal- that's where I stopped. So I, <laughs> that I, I bad? see the revenge and I'm done. We're not, <laughs> we need Dave, I called him up. Dave, we're changing the movie. This is true. Like we, I was completely set to do it. And then it was just one day. He's like, nope. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> Halloween Town's stupid. I thought it was good, but no. Let's talk well, about that it, other. Is that, the, is that a prime example of looking through something with the nostalgia goggles? Like in no. the sense where no, because like, I wasn't saying it was good. I was just saying, me, well, we could do that because that is a Halloween. But before themed... you, because bef- you wanted that was what you originally wanted to do, and like yeah. actually, you could say the same thing for this movie because this is not a bad movie by any chance, but it's not as good as when well, we yeah. were like yeah before when, I, when we were like yeah hocus pocus. We were like oh yeah shit yeah, but after watching like, yeah it, most of the mm. most of the films I talk on here, you know, you mm-hmm. can watch again and they're like oh th- these are great. Hocus Pocus is that kind of thing you watch if you're like, oh well, it's Halloween and this is on TV. This will this will pass for my right. daily like Halloween themed movie binge. Yeah, so you know? I, I think what I mean by like the nostalgia glasses is the idea that like if you were going to want to do something like this or Halloween Town or anything like that, mm-hmm. you'd be like, oh, these were so much fun as a kid. But then you yeah. watch it and you're like, I was kind of a stupid kid. Yeah, my brain wasn't the same as now, so... <laughs> no, it's like... It's... Fuck this movie. But at the same time, there's the enjoyment of that. I think oh, it's yeah. just like... Because, you know, you could fully You're brought believe back some... to the simpler times, and that nostalgia is still there. And you get that warm, fuzzy feeling. It's a but... combination of nostalgia and so bad it's good, I think. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I, I this is not this isn't fucking you know Sharknado or anything like that. It's just no. that it's like <clears throat> it's a safe movie. It's a, yeah, I it's feel a like oh, it's, it's a very a, safe movie. It's a family fun safe movie. Well, do you want? I'd say get, get into it. Let's just talk about. It. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Go the, for it. Okay, one of the things I have to say about it is that like like I said, it is a kids movie. It has some stuff in it. That Talk about if it. this movie was made today, I don't know if it could pass for a kid's movie. Tell them about it. Well, at the very beginning, we're introduced to the three sisters, uh, played by Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy, who I didn't know this, but apparently it's Peggy Hill. Yeah, Peggy Hill. I did not know that when I first saw this movie. Mm-hmm. So. This is the power of IMDb, baby. <laughs> um, they, uh, they're basically, they've kidnapped this small girl and are trying to... Basically, steal her soul so they can become life young again. Life force, yeah. Life, life force. That's what they have to call it. I think. I um, but when they're caught by this child, who they turn into a cat, but with the the knockoff Necronomicon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, they're fucking hung. Yep. In a kids they're, movie, like, and I, I'm not. I'm not like saying like you know it's like goofy or whatever. They are literally. They show the boxes being kicked, and the the feet dangling. And I'm like, oh my, when I rewatched this the, for this show, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's, it didn't occur to me as a kid It's like, you know what, it, it was exactly it. like the same way they did it in Pirates of the Caribbean. It's, it was similar hmm. to like that way they did it. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Oh, it, well, they have a scene where like, it's like the third one where they hang all the, like, because they're hunting down all the pirates or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's sort of like that presentation of it. Like, they didn't show them by their necks, like, <sighs> or anything. Yeah. Gasping for air. Right. No, it's just really subtle. Yeah. So that, that that's dark. and Like, that's... It's pretty dark for a kid's movie, but... I think that's okay, because I... I firm, that's fine. I, I very much believe up. that it's okay to scare your kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. When I was, a, uh, We can sort of talk about this, because, uh... When I was younger, I... You know, now I, I love horror movies, and I talk about them, like, every week. But I was pretty much scared of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, especially You're a little like, puss puss, huh? I was a big puss puss. Um, okay. I wouldn't say a little one. I uh, <laughs> like I would walk into Halloween stores and I I wouldn't be able to like 
I would have to like go out the door before my like parents would have to like buy my costume for me. Really? Yeah, this is true. Wow. Like, when I was, Look like, at with... you. I, I know, but I think that's like that's part of the reason why I like what I like now is because I was so unease with it as a child that mm-hmm. now I find it like stuff like it enjoyable and funny. Oh yeah. Um, the same thing you were talking about, like when you were younger and you watched something and how just different it is for you now. Yeah. It has the same effect on me, and I know a lot of people like that. Um, but this was an example of a movie where I watched when I was like a little kid, and I was kind of creeped out by it. Um, but I don't know. It, it's it is a really difficult movie to like give a full analysis on because I mean, what what can you say? It's a it's a ch- it's a children's movie about witches. Mm-hmm. There's there's some I'll, I'll say there's some good music in it. Yeah, the music's good. Um, they, there's a really <clears> good cover of. Uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins, I put a spell on you. Oh, by, classic. By uh, Bette Midler. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's probably like the best scene. In Honestly, the it's movie. like the, it's one of the, the only memorable. takeaways. Yeah, it's probably the main memorable scene. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. When they uh, when they do that. But what, what what do you what would you say you like most about this movie? Because that that'll probably make this easier to discuss. Well. Like I said before we started recording, this was the movie that I watched as a kid, like, every every Halloween. It was this, The Great Pumpkin, uh, Halloween Garfield, and I don't know, it's just a, a step, that's, the, I feel like this is the movie to talk about if you don't do Halloween Town. It's just something to talk about. I'm tired of all these, these big boy horror movies that you guys are all talking about. What about <laughs> the good shit? You know, the good stuff that we all grew up with, huh? Well, it, interestingly enough, like, because I agree with that. Like, you know, it, this is very nice. It, this is right around the Halloween season. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a Halloween movie. Yeah, it, it, that's what it is. It's not a horror movie. It's a Halloween movie. Yeah. I will say, I, I don't know if I've, how many, I haven't gotten a lot of genuine horror films on this show. Yeah. Yeah, Which is slightly disappointing, but... That's okay. I welcome everything, as long yeah. as it's spooky. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's get back into uh, this this gem, this gem of a movie. <laughs> Where do we fucking go after that? So the witches get hung. Witches we... get hung, and like I said, that's when we cut to you know the Max, the Max kid, mm-hmm. and uh, well, they, his uh, he he obviously this kid hates Halloween. Or at least he's just not into it. He's just, yeah, he's, he's out of his element. He's too cool for it. He's out of his element right now, and he's playing it cool. He doesn't want to go. He's a rebellious teenager right now. Right. Like, this kid is a 90s kid. Like, that's what he is. And he he thinks that it's it's way too cool. I want to be in this, you know, I want to be in California. Yeah. And when his parents and his sister basically make him take her trick-or-treating, he is not for it. He, yeah. Uh, with uh, one of the probably the creepiest thing in this entire movie is how attached his sister is to him. You, you notice it too, right? Absolutely. Like she's really fucking touchy with this his old with her older brother. His That's little, not fucking right. His little sister, um, kiss me, Max. I'm Allison. Yeah, she um she's hiding in the closet when he <laughs> comes into her room, and you think at first, oh, you know, it's just a little sibling play. But then yeah. he, like, she's, like, jumping on his lap and, like, getting really close to him. And I'm like, this is a little uh, too touchy-touchy for siblings. <laughs> um, I don't know what happens in California, but this isn't really... Something Something was in our water in the 90s. That's right. And now we have no water. But um, I, I think that I, it, it's kind of... It's a little off-putting. Like, you wouldn't catch it as a kid, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah, no. After watching it, you know, it's, it's a little creepy, but hey... Yeah. Whatever. Let's just but, gloss over it. Yeah, but Max is just like, you know, I don't want to do this. He, he's, he literally starts playing a drum kit Oh, yeah, he's, he's talking. Start, well, he's a drummer. He's from California. He skateboards, I assume. He plays the drums. He wears shades indoors. He's a piece of shit. He's a fucking... He's, <laughs> yeah, he's a shitty 90s kid from California. Like, it's this is one of those movies where, like, this is supposed to be our main character. Wait, wouldn't he be an 80s kid? I don't know because this is 1993, right? Oh well, does it is, does it take place in 1993 or is it released oh, in 1993? That's true. I would assume it's modern. So if 1993. it's modern, then I would imagine he's like a 90s kid. No, he's an 80s kid because he's a teenager in the 90s. 
Well, when I say modern, I mean like past tense. Like okay. Well, when I when I when I say nineties kid, I mean the way he acts currently. Yeah. So is... yeah. So sixteen ninety three. Three hundred years later, nineteen ninety three. Yeah. So I'm fact checking right now, Dave. Don't fuck with me. I got the lore. I got my. I the came lore back of Hocus. In. All right, you got a little Einstein's and Hocus Pocus down under there. my belt. Don't right. fuck with me, man. You, this movie is so frustrating to talk about just because of this one kid. And I hate to harp on him, but, like, this is our main character. Yeah. And he's... Not likable. He's not... I don't hate him. I don't hate him. But I'm just he's like, just not... He's my least favorite else, please, character. Like... Yeah, like, the, the, the girl, the Allison chick, is likable. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The witches, uh, that's, that's probably the highlight of the movie, is the performance of these three sisters. But that's, yeah. Yeah, it's totally about the witches. It's not yeah. about Max. The main characters are the Sanderson sisters. When but... you, honestly, when anybody thinks of this movie, the They're main the image... they the fucking they, cover. Yeah, the main image you think of is Bette Midler's, like, hair in this movie. Yeah. Um, and a questionably bangable Sarah Jessica Parker. That, let's talk about that, because this is the old. this is, like, the most attractive she's ever looked in a yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Like everybody makes the jokes about her looking like a, like a horse. Yeah, uh, she actually looks pretty good in this movie. Yeah, so there's a reason to rewatch this movie for you, kids. Guys. There's your reason to watch it. Mm-hmm. You're going you through see puberty. Some... Hocus Pocus is a great uh, film for you. You want to see some Hocus Pocus titties, kids? Pop in the VHS. <laughs> You're in for you a know good it? time. After after a couple strokes, your boner will disappear. <gasps> Where'd it go? It's gone. It's fucking magic. It's the magic of Halloween. Mommy, I made magic all over my pants. Oh, well, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Always got to... Can we, can we just talk about Hocus Pocus? Talk, talk about what? What do you want to talk about, Dave? I just want to talk about Hocus Pocus. Oh, me too. That's what I want to talk about too. But you're just now talking about little kids splurging little readers. <laughs> I didn't come on the show to talk about that. I want to talk about Hocus Pocus <laughs> and Betty Midler. Okay, let's let's take a, let's take a step back. Uh huh. Let's take a step back. Pull your pants mm-hmm. back up. Let's get back into the movie. All right. Okay. Now that we have established how good Sarah Jessica Parker is, you know what? Let's sh- I, can I just say I don't like talking about Hocus Pocus. This movie really sucks. <laughs> this movie fucking sucks. Why did I pick this stupid fucking movie? <laughs> Just don't watch this stupid fucking movie. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> no, it's not the end of the podcast. We're just gonna you know shit what? on this you know, movie. You know what? Why don't we just... <laughs> that's the problem. Like, we're... Okay, obviously, we're joking. We're, we're right. fucking around. Mm-hmm. The honest to God truth is there's not that much to talk about. Let's just jump around the movie. How about that? Why don't we... You know what? It's, it, it's so close to Halloween, whenever this comes out. Mm-hmm. Why don't we just talk about our favorite... Halloween kids movies. Why, you why want to know just... mine? Yeah, for sure. It's Hocus Pocus. So F- fuck you. So you okay, so there's this shit. part. Okay, you know you the bus. Piece of shit. You know the. I... Hold on, no, no, no. I got the real. I got a real topic here. Okay. So you know the bus scene, right? Yes. Uh, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Yeah, bubble, bubble. I'm in trouble. They get on the bus and they're driving around with this guy from fucking Brooklyn. Does he have a Brooklyn accent? Kind of. I, I know I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But. So anyways, after they run over the cat and they get off <laughs> and they get off the bus. And then in the this cat, kid's movie. In this kid's movie, this cat gets read over and then they're staring at his dead body. And then it just starts to inflate like a fucking balloon. <laughs> he comes back to life. <laughs> they literally like had a cord running into this cat. <laughs> just pumped air into it. Uh, how, how is this a kid's movie? Like, fucking, you, you know, God damn it, the more and more I think about it, the, like, the more <laughs> fucked up it is. It's like... Uh, do, you, so, uh, do you remember the scene where like the witches are chasing them and then she revives his dead bo- her dead boyfriend? Oh yeah, her dead husband. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's a... What's his Edward name? Scissorhands looking fucking Billy, dude. Billy Butcherson. I Billy think Butcherson, yeah. And uh, he actually diddled Sarah Jessica Parker's uh, character behind yeah. Bette Midler's back. That's why he's dead. But there's your yeah. lore for that. That's that's the lore. There's the backstory. But uh, yeah, I remember that guy. As a kid, I 
I thought him and Edward Scissorhands were the same guy, and they just, like, collaborated. You thought it was Johnny Depp? Yeah, I thought they were the same. Hmm. That's a lie, because, well, no. It's not a lie. I mean, when you were a kid, you might have thought that, but, you know. But now now it's obviously. Right. Mm. But uh, I wanted to talk about after they get off the bus, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, no, I think after, even after that, um... Sometime around when they find the guy, the old dude dressed up as the devil, um, they're outside, and I think it's when they lose their brooms. They're just talking, they're, they're, they're complaining, they're crying, they're like, oh, we lost our brooms. There's this kid that's dressed up in this shitty Sonic costume, and he walks across this, the scene, the shot, and I had to pause it and scream out, look at that, Sonic made his way into a Disney-produced movie <laughs> way before... Uh, fucking Wreck It Ralph. How about that one? This kids? was a collaboration with Sega. Hocus yeah. Pocus. How do they fucking get like? How 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 do they okay that? Is that fine? Can do they do that? that? If do you think if Sega made a Hocus Pocus themed Sonic game, they would have a resurgence? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, I'm just I'm just trying to Sega. If you're listening, this is marketing for you. Yeah, listen up, Sega intern who has nothing better to do. Yeah, listen to this. Listen to this shitty podcast. You can you can get a, a ton of money if you just base your next Sonic game, Sonic's Halloween, starring Bette Midler as Sonic. Oh, I oh, okay, Bette Midler. Okay, I'd watch that. Is Bette Midler alive? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Oh, hey, sorry about this giant fucking airplane. Can you hear that? No, I can't until you brought it up. Well, we're gonna let it pass. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> no, but <sighs> I think that uh. The whole the whole movie is like you said. It's very much about the three witches. Mm-hmm. They're because the main they st- characters. They steal the show by far. Like honestly, I really could Literally. not give a crap about the kids. Yeah. Uh. They uh. Well, the, I guess there is a plot to this movie. Okay? They just move the plot along. That's all right. they gotta do. Like, as much as we're bullshitting, there is a plot. The plot is basically about the uh, the witches have come back, and well, they retain their youth. By sucking out the life force, right? And so their whole trying... thing is, yeah, we gotta round up all the kids in the world and suck their life force so we could be, uh, so young we can be young forever. forever. But this spell that revived us will fade and uh, fade away by, uh, or when the sun rises. So right, because when when they were hung, they also set a curse that said that three hundred years later they would rise from the grave. Right. Yeah. So. And uh, when a when a virgin lights the candle, so yeah, when a virgin Max, lights the candle, that's right. Max, Allison, and uh, his younger sister, whatever, they go to the old Sanderson house and they're checking it out. And Max thinks it's a good idea to light the candle. We should have said this in the beginning, but whatever, I fuck should've. it. Uh, I should have also mentioned that the fucking cat is the uh, boy who found them in the beginning. That they cursed forever to be like never. He can't die. He's a fucking cat. Oh yeah, the the. Yeah, so the little girl who gets kidnapped in the beginning, her older brother gets turned into a cat. He lives around for 300 years and still retains that fucking old colony accent. I don't know how the fuck he managed the qu- to do that. The Quaker that. accent. That's, yeah. That's the way how does he retain that accent if he's been alive for 300 years and has, you know, been he's around? He's a fucking cat. I don't know. No. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a cat, but he could have picked up, like, different ways of speaking, you know? Like, a different... Accent. I don't know. Maybe man. denial as to what happened, and he's trying to keep it alive. I keep don't know. it alive. Maybe he's just cursed to have it. I don't know. Anyways, Possibly. so yeah, but that that that's inter- like. I guess that element's kind of interesting. Like the idea, like, oh, you can't die now. You're a cat. That, that's kind of. It's a little, a little dark for like you know like a movie like that. Basically, like. I think it's right for kids. It's not straight up killing him. It's just well, right. Well, they actually say in the movie, it's like, "How should we kill him?" And he's like, "Well, we won't kill him. We'll make him like live forever." This is a kids' movie. Which is almost. I want to argue that living forever is almost as bad as death. Yeah, no, it's terrifying. But I'd rather take that option. In all honesty, would you? So you'd rather like? I'd rather live forever and see everyone die. And when the planet explodes, I'm there drifting in space, and I will be. The, the architect. I've come up with my title I already. The new world. I will create a new world from all the knowledge I have gained for living forever. Damn it! If I could, have, if I could go back and reintroduce the podcast, I call you the New World Architect. 
I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to make a new badge. Best rapist, and right next to that, the new architect. New new Twitter uh, profile. Uh, yep, the new world right architect. Now. The new world architect. Watch out for that one. But, what uh, were we talking about? Talking about hocus pocus, right? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're trying to. Um, <sighs> I think that. Uh, I definitely think though that this movie it sort of has that element of uh, how do I say this without just repeating the fact that it's you know a good Halloween movie mm. it has it has a really good uh, it gives off a very good tone I think in the sense it's very it's upbeat like, positive right it, it's not this isn't like um, that's what I got from it anyway yeah this isn't this is not a scary movie no let's say that but there's if no you were suspense. Gonna, like, this is a great movie that if you're a, uh, if you're a, uh, if you're for some reason grounded from trick or treating this Halloween, because you got you were dumb and your parents grounded you. I'm talking to the kids who so obviously listen to this podcast. Dude, yeah, I was uh, thinking. The movie, do kids listen to this? This is the movie that you'd watch. Actually, mm, right. I d- I do have a story because this I, this is a movie that will never ever be reviewed on this show because it's fucking horrible. Uh huh. We'll see um, about that. But go when on. I was in uh, seventh grade, because uh-huh. I, I like you know I love Halloween. I I don't trick or treat anymore, but I still have parties. I still dress up, you know. Mm-hmm. But I trick or treat every year when I was a kid. And when I was in seventh grade, I got like a really bad grade on like a math test or something. Uh huh. Like right around Halloween time, and my mom said, "Okay, you're not going trick or treating this year." And I what? was you know, I was fucking mad, obviously, right? What? Yeah. Okay. Fair. But. My dad is the kind of guy who is like, uh, I don't really care. So what happened was my mom took my sister trick-or-treating, and my dad was like, you want to go get pizza and watch a movie and hand out candy to the trick-or-treaters? And hmm. I was like, yeah. And so nice. we, this was right around the time. This is going to date this. This was around the time we, we got the movie, the Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Oh, yeah. On the live-action film, and we the watched good that. One on Halloween night and handed out candy to the trick-or-treaters and my dad taught me this great trick where he was like we can hide in the bushes with the hose and spray people I'm not kidding this, this is not a joke like this, <laughs> this is like be a joke like this, no it's not it's not a joke like my dad was like let's do this and so like he would he would only do it to like older kids uh uh-huh. okay yeah not like little babies like, okay. little babies who give the we give the Snickers bars to but like like kids who are like you know like Going on high school that. around my age, mm-hmm. he was like, soak him, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's not the sidetrack, but that's just like sort of the things that like, you know, it's what you do around Halloween. Yeah. You spray kids. You watch Hocus Pocus with your dad, you know, just hang out. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. That too. <laughs> like I said, I'm never, I, I, I don't care. Fucking Obama could say, "Ah, uh, Dave, I want to come on your podcast to talk about Scooby Doo too." <laughs> no, sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, we might though. I don't know. <laughs> I'm you, just we say might. We are. Do, do, do you do you control this podcast? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I do. I, I'm the one that funds you, Dave. Remember, Shit. I'm the one that pays you to you run this we podcast. Gonna, you, said, you said we weren't going to talk about this. You weren't going to embarrass me like this. It's not embarrassing if you let it be embarrassing. It is embarrassing. It shows that I'm not financially stable. That's not a secret, Dave. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> I work on the internet for Christ's sake. I'm oh, financially hey, stable. I'm financially... Fuck you, I'm financially stable as shit. I, fuck you, I have a full-time I have, job. I have a fucking job. Fuck you. What the, the fuck, dude? What are I, you talking about, then? I, I thought know. this was a podcast about Hocus Pocus, Why Dave? did you make me feel like I was <laughs> broke? <laughs> I just wanted to talk about how bad Scooby Doo Two was. We're not talking about feel... Scooby Doo Two. We're talking about Hocus Pocus, the movie directed by. Wait, is it directed by Kenny, Kenny? Ortega, the guy who Kenny? did the High School Musical movies? Oh my god! Yeah, we're you not. Know that? No. Yeah, there you go. We're not talking about High School Musical. No, we're not. I'm just talking about Kenny Ortega. Well, that I guess that makes sense for why it'd be produced by Disney. Right. Well, actually, no, it doesn't make sense because it was made before. I mean, after. Whatever, it's confusing. Fuck it, fuck it. Hey, remember that guy who did the Hocus Pocus movie? Yeah, bring him back. Make him do this shit. Uh, you know what? We need a lo- we need a remake of Hocus Pocus. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Don't fuck. No, we don't. We do not. After watching this, what are they gonna fuck up? 
Like, seriously. Why do they need to make it? Put movies into original content. Stop making remakes. I agree. I'm just saying, if they were going to remake something, it's like... Don't remake Hocus Pocus. Don't you fucking... Hollywood, if you (laughs) fucking touch my baby... (laughs) You're bipolar with your baby! Every, this whole podcast, you've gone back from saying, I hate this movie, do I love this movie? I, I'm conflicted. <laughs> All right. Hocus Pocus is like that girlfriend you dump, <laughs> but you keep missing. You yeah, want to keep going go back, back to her, forth, but yeah. every time you do, you're like, why did I do this? Yeah. Hocus Pocus is the McDonald's. You go hey, in uh, there. Hey, hold on. All right. We're not shit on McDonald's. Okay. They got a good two for four. All right. Right don't now? Touch. Yeah. Two sausage egg big muffins. Please don't do this. For $4, Dave. You know how <laughs> much of a steal that is? I forget who said this. I think Iron said this. Iron Alligator. Shouts to him. Yeah, he said he... that McDonald's is the whore, the breakfast whore, because that's all they're good for. <laughs> their, their burgers aren't good. No, they're not. You don't go to McDonald's for a fucking burger. You go you to. You go for a sausage McGriddle. Mm hmm. Sausage McGriddle and then the hash browns. <laughs> I you know love what? McDonald's. Let's, make, let's I, talk about McDonald's. <laughs> Why are we talking about Hocus Pocus? You know what? McDonald's is terrifying how large they've become. So that's terrifying. scary enough for this podcast. Whoa. That's my... Uh, Recapitate now officially sponsored by McDonald's. Don't say that. What are they going to do? Make Happy Meal toys out of me? <laughs> <laughs> little fat Dave. Shut and then up. that little new Dave. The old and the new. That's, that's the toy. It's like you fill it with water, and then it, you push it out, and it shrinks. <laughs> that's how, yeah, that's how you lose weight. You just squeeze yourself, and all the water comes out. McDonald's, uh, it's now promoting bulimia in their Happy Meal toys. Yeah. All you have to do is sh- stick your finger in my mouth, and the water comes out. Mm. Speaking of fingers, did you see how Billy Butcher lost his fingers in that one scene? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Let's get back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. I saw an opportunity. I'm taking it. We're you getting back it. on the road. Go for it. <laughs> this is already. I'll say this is already the most fun episode I've ever done of this show. Fucking. That's <laughs> the fucking point of doing the show. So <laughs> there you go. Um. Yeah. Okay. So Billy Butcherson. He loses uh, some fingers. He does lose some fingers. Yeah. Uh, he, well, he basically. Uh, because he's basically he's a zombie, but they they yeah. they make him up to be like you know, uh, like really goofy, right? Yeah. Um. Which I, I, I kind of like. I mean, his performance is obviously downplayed, but, like, you know, for what it is, it, it's funny. Yeah, okay, so the the whole... Billy Butcher, we already said his origin. We already explained that. But he was brought back to capture the kids because the kids ran away to the graveyard and the witches can't set foot in the graveyard. I forget why. I, um, They can't wait, stand they, in the graveyard, but they can fly around. Um, I think that they... Uh, it's some kind of thing about, uh, they can't touch the hollowed ground. Yeah, something I like that. I believe it's something along that, yeah. Yeah, so they, and so, um, Bet- Bette Midler's character resurrects her old husband, her old husband, and he goes chasing around the kids. But then later he turns into a good guy because, uh, I, I guess he just wants to? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I, much. yeah, and then they just cut, his mouth is sewn shut, and then they open it up, they cut it open. And he's able to talk, like, a total of, like, four lines in the whole movie. But he becomes a good guy. And are we going to talk about the, what I thought was the ending to the movie? Like, the, when they first defeat the When witch. they fucking burn him alive in the yeah, high school? Oh, yeah, okay. So, the kids come up with a plan, right? Lure him to the high school, for some reason. Let's take him to the high school. There's a sure. fucking oven there. And so... Yeah, as, as all your high schools have. Yeah. And so Max gets on the intercom and is like, yo, he puts on his shades. What is he like representing a character? Is he playing a character there? He or, might be. It might be. Like I a, didn't get the reference. Maybe like a Howard was. Stern kind of thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah. anyways, they lure the kids somehow into an oven. I mean, they don't know it's an oven. But yeah, they get in there. And they burn them alive. You see green smoke coming out of the chimney of the school. You know, they're dead. They're screaming. And right. then everything's good. We're good. The witches are defeated. Let's go High back to Max's. And, yeah. Let's go back Halloween to Max's time. place. Right. Halloween's over. The family. This is after the the notorious uh, uh, spell on you scene. This right, is after is. the fact. We're, we'll come back to that. But they're like, yeah, this is fine. Uh, Max sleeps in his bed. Allison 
gets nice and cozy right up next to him. Everything's fine. And then for some reason, the witches come back. Yeah. Because that's how the uh, curse works. I don't know. It's really kind of unexplained because it's yeah. like, it, the whole point is that they're supposed to die if they don't, you know, get the the children's souls or whatever. But right? until then, they're immortal, I guess. I guess so. I, because I, hmm. she ends up, they come back to life and they end up kidnapping the little sister and the cat. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that's the reason why. It's not very clear. Like I said, I don't think they put a lot of thought into, you know... The, like the reason why the spell works and how it does right yeah uh well, it's, they just gloss over it that's fine i didn't need an explanation anyway this is this is hocus pocus after the, all do you remember the okay we we're talking about the billy butcherson the zombie character because mm-hmm. he actually turns into a good guy yeah do you remember the part where he fucking cuts open his own mouth that's what i said earlier yeah they cut open his mouth yeah it's I, I know you said it earlier, but, like... It it's must... sewn shut. It's not, like, melded together. Like, the lips are melded. No, right, right. I'm just saying it's, like... I mean, that... He's, a, he's sort of a proverbial, like, Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. In a sense. Mm-hmm. But it's just... There's a lot of stuff in this movie that... I, I watch, I'm like, why? Why, why? why do they include this? Yeah. Because well, the plot... Like you said, the movie could have ended there. It doesn't add anything. It just... Yeah. I don't know, man. I, because they okay. The, basically, the witches after they kidnap the little sister, whose name is Danny, by the oh, way. Oh, Danny never said that. Yeah. Um, they basically try to do to her the same thing they did to the little girl in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, st- take her soul with the vial and the potion. Uh, I did. I did actually like almost the callback because the cat, you know, ends up a. Uh, sort of saving her yeah like you know he leaps on the like he knocks the potion out of her hand and whatever mm-hmm. i like because that's just like he like he did sort of the same thing at the beginning with his sister mm-hmm. so i, I did kind of like that it was you know it, it may okay this is going to be brought up later so yeah that was neat. I'm, I, I'm stretching to find uh you know cinematic brilliance in hocus pocus yeah you're really stretching there but um Let's just wrap up the movie and then we'll get back to uh, <laughs> we'll get back to other the, the the iconic scene. So they defeat the witches by how do they do it again? They uh they sort of like okay oh oh wait I remember hmm? they uh Max drinks the potion and basically like sort of sacrifices himself so that like. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll stop the children. So there, yeah, there's this potion that they make that they feed to the children, right? So they. Well, what happens sap- is yeah. is that when she tries to suck the soul from Max, she remember she accidentally like it, look. It, it turns out it, the the hollow ground makes sense because she falls on it mm-hmm. and she gets disintegrated. I thought she got disintegrated because the sun. No, but she because she's also on the hollow ground. Really? Oh. Yeah. I didn't put that together. I just It's, it's not it. vampire logic. Okay. It's just that they weren't allowed to step foot, which is why like you said they were flying over it, not standing on it. And do you, do you don't there's a part where remember she's like, "Sisters, we can't touch, we cannot touch the ground. We have to fly." The like that's exactly what happened. Yeah. But I thought so the it, curse was once the day is up, once the sun rises, you're fucked. So I thought I think there's like a double f- fuck the witches there. I don't really, I don't remember there being a sun part to it. I just remember there being, like, they had a amount of time. Well, maybe, you know what, you're probably right. You saw this, like, once yesterday. I saw this I movie, did, I, like, six times in the past month. You're right, Dave. Fuck, okay. Well, you're right, man. You're right. I forgot I'm talking to the uh, the new architect. The lore the, master of Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Sit the fuck down. You know what, Kenny Ortega, if you're listening, which I know you are, call us. <laughs> Tell us about what your vision was, and we'll uh, we'll make sure people know. Yeah, yeah. But basically, the kids save the day. Halloween is saved, and fucking Max decides, you know what? I should maybe not as be big of a douche as I am. Yeah, I've seen the light of God in the end <laughs> end of the movie. Like that's basically it, right? Like, well, there the is an ambi- shining. There's there's an ambiguous ending. Don't forget. Remember the. Uh, 
I do want to talk about the spell book though, but that leads into this. The spell book, remember, it opens its eye, mm -hmm. and it starts to like Disgusting. look around, like, ooh, may, may, may not be the end. Nah, it's the end. It's been fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, twenty years. It's been twenty three years. Twenty three years. We're waiting <laughs> on the Hocus Pocus sequel. No, we're not. No, we're not. It does not need a sequel. You know, it's sad that, like, we live in a day and age where, like, I, I was joking about the Hocus Pocus remake thing, mm -hmm. obviously, but yeah. is it, it's it's sad we live in a day and age where I wouldn't be shocked if they did that. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked either. I wouldn't be happy, but I wouldn't be shocked. No. I mean, because that's the thing. It's like, uh, Midler, Parker, and Najimi, they really do make this movie. Because they're, they're they are a lot of fun when they interact. Yeah. The scene where, um... What's her name? Mary? Mary's uh, Najimi's character? Yes. Yeah, so Mary, like, they, their brooms get stolen, so they all have to use, like, other, like, non-magical brooms, I guess? Well, N Mary's character... Oh, yeah, they have, like, the vacuum. Yeah, Mary stuff. rides a yeah. vacuum. That's great. That that was funny. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. Like I said, like, this movie is not terrible. It's not. It's just... It, it, there's... there. It has moments. That's mm -hmm. the thing. It has... Most of it is kind of just like they had a bunch of ideas, and they kind of threw it and just said, "Well, let's just string this plot to keep it going for like you know however like ninety three minutes or whatever." Yeah. Um, like the main attraction is of course the as we said earlier is the famous musical number, which is the I I I, uh, I put a spell on you right. Um, it's very well done. Oh like, yeah. I didn't know. That Midler had pipes like that. Yeah, she's a there's a very fucking hard to hit note at the end. Yeah, uh, yeah she's she's pretty good. She's a good singer. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think she's a bad singer. I'm just saying like the the she's scene talented. is that that scene is a lot of fun because of the way they're set up. They're set up like they're at a Halloween party, or and sort of like a I like I do like the voodoo guy who's like introducing them. Yeah, the the band that's already playing in the beginning. Right. Yeah, and then so to give it some context, like every all the adults in town basically are uh, at this party in City Hall. I, I'm assuming, and they're just having yeah. a good time. And there's a band playing. Whoop de do. The kids run up in there and they're like, "Hey, witches are coming! Get the fuck out of here!" And he points to them. He points at the witches, and the witches. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Something about this scene, man. It's just, it puts a smile on my face. It makes my heart warm. Gives me that good <laughs> Halloween feeling. They it, come up no, it, it's a lot of fun. There's one part where it's basically like, because the, the, she's using this to sort of win over the adults, right? Mm. And she does, because she won me over. Um, I think she I think it's she puts a spell on them, right? It's not only well, just a performance, that, but she's literally putting a spell on them. Right. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't that's know great. if, like... Well, the original song by Screaming Jay Hawkins is a is an awesome soul classic. Mm -hmm. like, it's soul. I, it's it's a it is a definite. Uh, if you make a Halloween party playlist, it definitely belongs on. Mm -hmm. um, but this cover is really well done, and I know pe other people have done it. I think I think Creighton's Clearwater Revival did a version yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love CCR. Bad Moon Rising is one of my favorite songs. Yeah. But, um, this is a very well done cover, and it, it definitely is a lot of fun. Like, because everybody gets into it. Yep. Um, they take liberties with the lyrics, but it matches the film. So, yeah. I mean, you're, you're kind of right. It's it's really the main part of the movie that puts a smile on your face. It's the it it's the reason to watch it. I think. I, yeah, it's, you know, it's my reason. Right. You, if you really wanted to, you could just watch that. It's on YouTube. Just watch the I Put a Spell on You clip. But you'll get the whole, like, experience. I think if you want the the, the legit Hocus Pocus experience, sit down and watch it. If you haven't watched it in a long time, give it a, give it a shot. Yeah, I – it's – if you want a really good classic – I don't want to use – you know what? Not classic. Cool classic. If you want, if you want a really good – a oh, movie Jesus. that feels like – a movie that makes you feel like a kid at Halloween – yeah. This is the movie for you. I think that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you want to just sit down one night mm -hmm. with a bowl a bowl of candy, you know, cold October night and you're looking to put something on, this is one I recommend. 
Yeah. If you've got kids, you don't know what movies, what Halloween movies to show them, put on, put on Hocus Pocus. Yeah, I, I will say that. Like, parents, if you're listening, as I know you are, if you want to introduce your kids to scary movies, this is a really good one to start yeah. with. Start with something like this. Something like this, or Gremlins. or And like, then Child's Play. Jump right into Child's Play. Immediately. Then immediately Saw and Hostel. Fucking right after make that. sure that they know that their toys can come to life and kill them. That's right. That fucked me up as a kid. That's the movie <laughs> I didn't want to talk about. That, is that the one you're scared of? I'm not. Child's well, not, not anymore, but as a kid, I, I was, yeah, that was the one that got me for a long time. That would have been far more interesting. <laughs> No. Thanks for telling me 50 minutes into a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's all right. Um, but you know what? We still got a little time. Mm-hmm. Why don't we talk about... Because, you know, we've pretty much... We've wrapped up. Yeah, up. fuck it. Whatever. Why don't we talk about... Because you, you know what? That's perfect. You brought up... Uh, you were... You know, Child's Play bothered you as a kid. Mm-hmm. What were some of the movies that either you really liked to watch as a kid or you were scared of as a kid as far as, like, movies you would watch at Halloween? Oh, fuck. I'm trying to think of any other movies like Child's Play. The, uh, Scream? I remember that and Scream. My parents watched a lot. My parents were young when they had me. They were just out of high school. Oh, yeah. They were living with their parents, and uh, we were all living together. And uh, they would put on Child's Play, Scream. Um, those are the two I remember. Scream is a really... Uh, I, I can see that because that did bother me as a kid, too. But mm-hmm. now I watch it. I appreciate it way more, not for it being scary, but for sort of how clever it is, because at the time, mm. that was something not... I don't want to delve too deeply into Scream, because mm. that is an episode that's going to be oh, happening soon. Oh, okay. So, but I will say, like, the th- main thing I like about that movie is how Wes Craven basically started up the meta genre of yeah. horror, but he didn't make it, you know, completely in your face. It was more... You know, just a welcome return to the slasher genre. Yes, I agree. And that's all I'll say about that one. Because mm-hmm. There will be a full discussion about that. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm not going to say with who. You'll have to. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but anything, anything else? Like uh, one thing. Like you know what? I still watch to this day. If you want to yeah. talk about a classic, mm-hmm. uh, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone should watch that. I don't care if you've seen it a million times. Watch it. That that that. Uh, film is still funny to me these two yeah there are still lines in that thing that make me <laughs> chuckle like because charles schultz like he didn't i don't think i mean he wasn't like you know putting in like a you know frisk like really adult jokes but he like he he sort of had almost uh more mm-hmm. like a cynical animaniacs humor where it's like anybody could watch it and find it funny yeah if you were a kid or an adult there was like something in it for you which is why i love peanuts so much mm-hmm. Um, but that's a standard. Like that's yeah. The, the idea that poor Linus is waiting for this, basically, he's basically waiting for Santa Claus on Halloween, and nobody else cares about this tradition. Yeah. But the 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 idea that like he holds it so dear to him, and that's why it's so important. Because you know Halloween, I know people who think Halloween is a complete waste of time. Yeah. I do know those kinds of people. Yeah, I, I, not um, a lot of people. I'm, everyone's pretty much into Halloween in California nowadays. Uh, not like Well, Halloween 90s. has definitely... It has definitely grown over the years. Like, nowadays, it's gotten bigger and bigger. Like, uh, it's be, been recognized as way more of a, a holiday now. I mean, it's always been a holiday, but it's just sort of been, like, marketed towards kids. You know, one night, go get candy from strangers. Now <clears> it's like... Every year, like, every, there's months dedicated to it. Yep. You know? Yep. Which I like. I love it. I, I love this time of year. Yep. Yeah, no, I, the fall in general. I mean, not just, I mean, Halloween's my favorite holiday, but fall in general is the best time of year. The leaves, the leaves turn brown, the air gets cool. See, we don't have that yeah. in California. <laughs> well, Louisiana, we get that literally the last week of October. Mm. Like, it's... You know, it, it's the middle of October or whatever, and it's fucking, like, 65 outside. Yeah. It's humid as hell. I'm sweating in October. Same here. Well, I shouldn't speak for all of California, because some of it's pretty good, but when you're in the asshole of California, uh, Fresno, if you didn't know that, um, yes. it's, it's, it sucks. It's sad, man. Well, the South in general is humid, and it's fucking horrible. Right. 
I, I really have always said I wanted to like one. I mean, I don't know who I'd go with, but like I want to experience like a like a north like fall, like where it's like really cool outside. You know, all like it's just that beautiful se- scenery of like you know all the leaves being brown. It feels oh, definitely. It feels like Halloween. Like you you can't really describe it. Like mm-hmm. it's just that sort of feeling you get where it's like it feels like you know there's something in the air. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's touching. Yeah. It's... You know what? I think that... What? what? What's that? No, you go. Oh, I just want... No, because this is a t- fucking tangent. Please continue. No, I was just going to wrap that up and say that uh, I think that Halloween is just a... It's just the most magical time of the year. I know most people think it's Christmas, but um, Christmas is second to me. I, I know there's yeah. a big argument between there Halloween and There shouldn't be Christmas. an argument, man. They're both cool. They're 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 pretty tight. Oh, that's why. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna recommend for the fourth time on this show. Oh god. Krampus. Watch it. <laughs> Don't watch Krampus. You know you're not gonna yeah. get to it. Just watch Hocus Pocus. Watch uh, Charlie's. Krampus is the best Charlie's movie that you can watch on dick. Christmas and Halloween besides Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. This is, I'm not even kidding. That's legitimately the fourth time I've recommended Krampus. On I this know. Show. I know. It, it it was okay. It was my favorite movie of last year. I I know, it's, Dave. I know this. The people know who listen to this podcast. We all know, man. Is it is it because that, or is it because I fucking ranted about it for like an hour with you? Did you rant with? Were we there? Was that no? You? That was no. That was Terminator Genesis. That was something that was Genesis. Different. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> we have, no. 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 I wasn't there for that rant. I won't get into that. No. 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 <laughs> Woo. This podcast would go on for another hour if I got into that. Oh, God. Um, no, but what was your uh, tangent you wanted to go on? Oh, I was just going to fucking bring up... You remember that one uh, Cartoon Network original uh, movie? Uh, the Halloween one? Uh, Halloween Spooktacular? Uh, Are you talking about the one Scary Godmother. Like, yeah, Scary Godmother. Yeah, that was awesome. You like that? I did like You're that. fucking stupid, dude. What are you fucking talking about? That was You're great. Fucking, I just baited you. You ba- you. Oh. You're a fucking stupid baby. Dude. Fuck you, fairy, fairy god. Uh, no, I actually did enjoy that god as a mother. child. It's, no, it, it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, the kid and it was a piece of shit. Oh, Jimmy, you remember that? Jimmy, only because it's it's, it's a gross fucking gremlin name, Jimmy. Sorry to all the Jimmys out there. Yeah, fuck Jimmy. If you're listening to this podcast, don't don't come back. Get out of here. Get to the back of the bus. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, no, I I do remember that fondly. I'd say that they made two of those. You know that? Uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think they made a third one. No, or am I pushing okay. it? I don't know, man. You might, you might be. But it was a Cartoon Network original. Mm-hmm. I mean, they had a fair share of good children's Halloween films. I think. Um, try to think of another good example, like Nickelodeon. I don't remember any Nickelodeon ones. I mean, so there, some of the shows Halloween specials are good. Like, uh, actually, one of the really over, I mean, not a lot of people know, like, the Spongebob one is really good. Halloween Spongebob episode. Do you remember the one where, like, he turns himself into a ghost, but it turns out he just, like, has nothing but his brain left? <gasps> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good episode. Yeah. I mean, that that was fun. So good I remembered it. Yeah. I don't know, um... What else we got? What else we got? Come on, Dave. It's hard for me to like for some of them because like I could, of course, like Nightmare on Christmas is an essential, but Ugh. that's another one that's going to be reviewed, so I can't fully go into that. Yeah, um, I liked um, watching all the Cartoon Network um, Halloween themed episodes, like um, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Sorry for yes. my California ab- abbreviation there, but yeah. Um, that one was good. What else? I think um, there were specials for Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That that is actually a. Uh, I don't know if you knew this. That's actually my favorite cartoon. Yeah, same here, man. Oh, I nice. already knew that. We've talked about Billy and Mandy before. We've I'm done trying to, Grim I'm trying impressions. To put, I'm fucking putting on a show. Billy! Grim! Billy! Grim! Suck my dick, Billy! Uh, I, I can't, Grim! You're doing old Billy. <laughs> you're getting You're getting there. I can hear it. <laughs> it That I can. That voice hurts so much. Dude, fucking Dracula? Dracula? Dragula don't know that was early bird special. Dragula don't like you. I love it. <laughs> that, uh, God, I want to, uh, 
I would love to talk about that whole series in depth because it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, that is one of the few things I have watched as an adult, and it's better than when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, because, well, now that I've seen so many goddamn horror movies, I get so many of the goddamn references that Maxwell Adams was making. Oh, like, yes. Like, Hostel Gatto is literally Snake Plissken and Ash yep. Williams combined. Yep. Uh, oh, did you ever watch, uh, oh, one of my, oh, one of my favorites was the, uh, the Underfist Halloween special? Yes. Yep. The fucking... That was amazing. Because mm-hmm. did you know that was actually supposed to be the pilot for the, the series to come yeah, on after? But, but it, it was right when Cartoon Network was going to the live action yeah, you know, dark times yep. that they had. They dropped it for Make, Build, Des- Destroy, Build, bleh, Destroy, Build, Destroy. Dude, what would happen? If we got fucking that one party guy to host a fucking live action show about destroying Andrew things. WK. Yeah, fuck him. Nah, he's cool. I nah, party with him. cool. Yeah. He just, he just, you know, everybody needs a paycheck. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I get that. Whatever, man. Um, no, Underfist was awesome because basically it took all the side characters like Hostile Gato, Irwin, General Jeff Scar. Jeff the Spider. And, uh, Fred Fredberger! Wasn't Jeff a part and, of that? Uh, Jeff was part of it. Sweet, yeah. You know Jeff was the only character to be voiced by Max Bell Adams? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> that's uh, neat. I will say, I'll plug this now. Hmm? Um... Not the, not because I've you know been asked to or anything, but Maxwell Adams. <gasps> Are you gonna you know, talk about been working? Ooh, dead meat. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna plug this. Uh, go to. I'll put it in the description. Maxwell Adams' Twitter. I mean, not Twitter. Tumblr. Um, his show, Dead Meat, is a, it's a uh, puppet live action hybrid series about the post apocalypse. Mm-hmm. If you love Billy and Mandy, but you're an adult now, you'll like it because the humor I've seen from some of it is. Very much reminiscent of that. It's got a ton of great voice actors in it. Yes. Uh, he, he got it through Kickstarter, which was actually one of the very few Kickstarters I've ever, uh, I have ever same. given money to. Yeah, same. Yeah. Um, so go check that out. It's looking promising. It's looking yeah. good. It's, uh, it's definitely one that I, I would recommend seeing. I mean, unless it sucks, which I don't think it, it will. Won't. But no. <laughs> But uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I think that's it, man. What are you What are you doing for uh, Halloween? What am I doing? Fucking working. I'm slinging really? pizzas, dog. I'm a pizza Dude, maker. Do you, do, you, do you do the pizzas that are shaped like no. pumpkins? Oh man, I don't. I don't. Hey, then fuck your place, man. Yeah. I hope your I hope your boss is listening. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, well, Ray, huh? thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, man. What was probably the uh, the most can, uh, constructive episode. Oh, of yeah, podcast. definitely. Yeah. Uh, how do you think we should end this? You know what? I've got an idea. I put a spell on you, and now you're gone. Gone, gone, gone. so long. But Hocus Pocus was good. But we were wrong. So wrong, so wrong, so wrong. Your wretched little lives have all been blessed, because when it comes to podcasts, mine's the worst. It sucks, dude. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's pretty good. You have 86 followers on SoundCloud, and not one of them really cares about what you're doing here. I, I mean, I put a lot of work into the show. I had to, I mean, I, I invited you on here. I expect you to respect me. I only used you to get more followers, Dave. Don't watch, don't watch, don't watch, don't watch. We ain't lying. If you don't believe McDonald's is delicious, ask my guest boy. It's nutritious. I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. No one cares. Let's take it home. I stay up all night. Disney movies make me cry. You stay up all night. You're a baby and should die. That's not very funny, Ray. I don't care. That's fucking gay. No? Yes. No? Yes. Fuck it. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>